I'm Ewan Allinson. I'm a, a bunch of things really. First and foremost, a sculptor, also a dry stone waller and philosopher. And I mix these things up as part of my, my practice, is what artists pretentiously refer to themselves as having. <laughs> I grew up in the Lake District, surrounded by amazing dry stone walls that just kind of climb up mountainsides at, at that kind of steepness. So I was always curious about them as a kid, but when I was at university doing geology, in the, in the summer holidays, I got work in my home at the Lake District working on footpath gangs. And in the process of that, I, I did some dry, you know, you patching up bits of dry stone walls. So I started to pick it up. I would always add to that skill whenever I had a chance in, in holidays and so on. So when I was doing my masters in Pennsylvania, I found a local stonemason who did dry stone work and I learned a huge amount from him. He was a real, I learned finesse from him and the idea of finesse in stonework. It's an ancient craft, as ancient a craft as you can think of. You know, if we think of it as dry stone engineering, actually, and walling is just one example. You know, what's lovely sometimes, I was building a wall down in Middleton in Teesdale, and I came, or came across a little clutch of, of pipes, clay pipes. During lockdown, I was lucky enough to have a big walling job up in, in Scotland, uh, around a reservoir, and the wall was built when the reservoir was built, so it was, it was the wallers would have been working in the 1850s. I kept coming across bottles of ale from local breweries. <laughs> so uh, again, just these little touches of, you know, it really helps you connect. You know, the last time a person touched this stone was the, the guy or the woman who, who, who built the wall in the first place, you know. Mm -hmm. 